happy holidays, guys! Here at Clever Music, we have a special holiday episode for you right now. I'm Misty Kingma, of course, and we're going to talk all about breakout artists of 2012. So I had to bring on my friend Jamar Rogers what's to help up, us what's out. Up, what's up? How you doing? I'm awesome. Thanks for having me back. Oh my we're gosh! On. Yeah, he was on Clever Style, but we brought him back. We had to get him on Clever Music, of word, course. Word. You guys have seen him on The Voice, but he's a huge recording artist now. I like that. Where would I, like I be that. without you? Thank you. Single. Hi is doing even better. Hi just came out this month, yes. December. Yes. 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 And uh, just you know, as an independent artist. Uh, to have charted with it is, is just insane. So thank you, fam, for supporting me. Yeah. Just throw that out there. And what's the song about? Uh, you know, it's just about my own personal struggle with uh, drug abuse and, and how I replaced that addiction with love and how oh. being addicted to love now, uh, it, it sounds cheesy saying it, but you get, just give it right. a listen. It's super, super dope. No, but I always love the message that you put out with your songs, so just Thanks. with your whole vibe and everything. Thank you. Yeah. So, word. Yes, yeah, so word. What else have you been working on these days? Didn't you just perform for No Hate Camp? I did, I did. I uh, was with Skylar Gray and Leanne Rimes. It was their fourth awesome. anniversary uh, party and the crowd was super great. And I also opened for uh, Jennifer Hudson recently at, at the House of I Blues in that. Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And uh, yeah, and, and then CeeLo's Christmas special, you right. know, in Vegas. And yeah, so. I've definitely been a busy, busy ninja. Lots of traveling for this ninja. <laughs> this ninja, Mr. Rogers. I love it Mr. so Rogers. much. <laughs> okay, well, let's get into breakout artists let's do it. of 2012. Let's do it. Um, we have five categories for you guys, and we're going to each pick who we think was that breakout artist of the year, and then you guys can tell us down in the comments who you think was right. So <laughs> we're going to start with the teens, breakout teen star. I haven't told Jamar who I picked, but I'll tell you first and then you can tell me what you think. Okay. So it's not actually one artist, I kind of cheated on this one. I picked One Direction. Now, uh. the five boys from the UK, obviously they got started on X Factor, most people know that. There's five of them. Breakout teen star, only actually four of them are teens, but I think that still counts for now. <laughs> Uh, you can't deny how big they are this year. They put out two freaking albums. It's huge, and I'm gonna have to agree with you. Okay. On One Direction. I uh, I saw them perform at the VMAs this year, and it was pandemonium. Oh my gosh, I was there too. Time. It was, I mean, but not just from teenage girls. There were women <laughs> there that were old enough to be their mothers that were willing to throw their panties on stage at these kids. Yeah. And I was just like, I, I, it's crazy. What do you think it is about them? Uh, you know, they're from they're from the UK. So they got those accents that those all the girls accents. here like. And you know, every generation has a, a really big boy band, whether it be New Kids on the Block or NSYNC, or, and, and this it's One Direction's turn. And I don't know why, but um, The Wanted kind of came out at the same time as One Direction, yeah, but I, why are One Direction so much more popular? I don't popular? know, because honestly, I like The Wanted a little bit more than One Direction, to be honest. I mean, if really? I'm gonna, uh, if I have to pick music. Yeah. Yeah, One Direction, you know, listen, they're great big teenage, you know, teen stars. It's not my music. I mean, I, I, it sounds a little Disney, yeah. in my opinion, but I can't deny how big they are. The Wanted, mm. I th aren't they a little darker? They're a little scruffier? There's a, there's, yeah. I think that One Direction is like less sunny. Pop. And the want it's a little darker. A little That's cloudy. Probably, a little cloudy. I think yeah. they're a little bit older as well. So I don't yeah. know if they would fit in the teen category. I, the want it, I'm, I, I'm back you guys. Okay. Just because okay. I like the underdog. But One Direction, breakout teen star totally. of the year. Okay. I have to, hats off. Let's totally. move on to breakout band. This could mm. be any kind of band. I'm going to say, wait, were you going to go first? No, you tell me yours first. I would have to say, uh, what band was bigger than fun? Did you seriously not look at my paper? I did not look at your paper. Picked. No, that's you didn't. Yeah, 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 look, See, fun. You, she did. Fun period, because there's fun a period, period after the name. No, listen, <laughs> they uh, they took music and they and they kind of just merged these two genres. They did it really successfully, mm -hmm. and I'm happy for them. I really like them a lot. I agree. I think their whole album is great. We yeah. Are Young kind of was dragged out a little far and long for me, but yeah. they have a second single now, Some Nights. Good. Oh, few. actually a third. A third one too? Yeah, uh, Carry On. Carry On, Carry On. Oh. It's really good and it's more folky, more what you can good. tell like their roots are. You mm -hmm. know, like the first two were like party, you know, you know, we're young, little, let's get a drunk. Pop. Yeah, very pop, but they played the game right because mm -hmm. their third single definitely is is a little more indie folk good. and I'm, I'm loving it. I like seeing that they're continuing and they're not just going to be a one-hit wonder. Yeah, You know, they performed right? at the MTV Movie Awards this year. They performed at so many award shows. I definitely think this was fun this year. Well, they also performed on the Grammy nomination, the nominating oh, that's right. concert. And I really just like how they kind of did it like stripped down with the orchestra. I, fun, I love you guys. They're so fun. They're making hipsters cool. 
Well, cooler than hipsters they are already, already cool. Are. Well, sometimes hipsters are too cool for school. That's true. And fun, they're just cool. They're bridging that gap. They're bridging Hipster, that gap. Hipster, pop. Yeah. Okay. So we totally agree with fun again. We'll see if I we can actually look disagree. At your paper, I promise. <laughs> okay. Breakout pop star. You want to go first? Or... I'll go first with this okay. one. I think Don't we. Say... I think we might actually disagree. Okay. Breakout pop star. You could not turn on the radio or go to an award show without hearing this person or this song. Call me, maybe. Carly Rae Jepsen. I was gonna say that. Oh my god. I, well, I mean, that, that just means that it's undeniable. She right. was like, right. I, I, I'm hoping. I'm sincerely hoping that Psy is just a flash in the pan. I can't take anymore. See, that's why I didn't pick Psy was because he only has one big song in the U.S. right now. Word. But Carly actually put out a second one, this Kiss. She put out her album. And it's, yeah. I think she's here to stay. I don't think she's going anywhere. If Justin Bieber has anything to do. With it. <laughs> Word. She's, she's, she's done. I mean, listen. Call me, maybe. It's just it's song a well written year. it's it's a well written pop song. Mm -hmm. It's it's just good old fashioned pop, and she's well, let's see let's see. She I, has a great image. Totally. I think that she's just everything that a pop star should be right now. Um, I think she's going to do so well. I think Psy is like our modern day Macarena. <laughs> so you mean he's going to go away soon? I kind of hope so. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, let's move on to breakout music genre. Now you know what this means. Like kind of. I feel, maybe not necessarily every year, but every so often, genres get really popular. That's true. Like last year, I felt that folk kind of came out a little bit more, folk rock with like Mumford & Sons. Um, yeah. So what kind of genre, what kind of music do you think really exploded in 2012? Well, there's this really cool thing happening in, happening in electronic music where it's uh, like indie meets electronic music. What? Like, Tell me like, more. Well, like fun. I mean, the fact that that, uh -huh. that fun stepped out of like the folk and they started adding like 808s and kind of hip hop rhythms. That's uh -huh. emerging of these two things. But you have Sia, who is with, you know, uh, uh, David uh, Guetta. Yeah, but before that, she was like this, you know, just this indie star. And so there, you're going to see. Uh, and then she combined with. Tegan the... and Sarah, you know, mm -hmm. they, they've been indie artists forever. They, they're. They're doing like this whole like EDM thing. Meet. I love it. I because I, yeah. I love EDM and I love indie music. And when you merge those two together, it's gonna just, I actually just think be it's better dopeness. than them yeah. by themselves. I agree. I agree. I was gonna bring up EDM just as like a breakout music genre, but I like that you brought in the indie with it because I feel like that's so true. I mean. I thought EDM came out so much this year because of mostly David Guetta, Calvin yeah, Harris. Yeah. But also, Good I'm, for them, I'm really into Zed. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I I'm think really, his new album's great. Listen, I uh, I have that. You know, people may hate me for this. I, I love dubstep. Uh -huh. I really do. I'm a fan. People so are gonna hate you. Yeah, my friends crack on no. me all the time. Uh, but you know, Skrillex and uh, just oh, I just I love year for him. I love what's happening in electronic music right now. I've been obsessed with electronic music since the '90s or whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> And so I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that everybody else is seeing what I've known for so long. Finally, yeah. you're like welcome to <laughs> welcome the genre, to everyone. Greatness. And even I feel like another sign that EDM is just going to get bigger is Lady Gaga has come out and said that you know there's going to be some of that influence on her upcoming album when it comes really? out early next year because of Zed because she's such a huge huge Zed fan. Interesting. So if Lady Gaga is going that direction, I think a lot of people are going to follow suit. Word. Well, Rihanna, <laughs> she's I mean she she That's did it. That's true. She did it. So we shall see. But Rihanna's also doing reggae, which is interesting. Sing. Well, that, that's the, <laughs> Rihanna, what is Rihanna not doing? That's true. That's very true. Okay, the last category for breakout artists of 2012. Mm -hmm. Artist or band that made a comeback. That made a comeback. That made a comeback that was big, you know, 10 or plus years ago. Hmm. You already know who I picked because you I cheated do. and you it's looked not, at my paper. Well, I'm trying to pick one different than that one. Okay, so we're going to disagree. I, we are definitely going to disagree on this okay. one. Why don't you go ahead and give your answer while I... I picked a No Doubt. You know, did they really make I a comeback, I covered though? so much No Doubt this year, and I was excited about it. I like their new album, Push and Shove. Their first single, Settle Down, isn't actually my favorite off the album. If you listen to the whole thing, I think there's some good songs in there. I actually, it reminds me of older No Doubt, which I liked. No, it but doesn't. But go ahead. That's the just problem. Just disagree with That's me. That's the problem. Disagree it's not enough me. like old No Doubt. Like, I... If they could have just remade a perfect like Tragic Kingdom all over again, I would have been all about it. But I feel like no doubt, you know, they kind of bend it into like pop music mode, mm -hmm. and they made a lot of just. But there's still a lot of horns and some reggae and ska in there. Enough, there is though. a little it's not though. Enough. It's more there's just stuff. electronic stuff, and I'm like, what happened to you, no doubt? What happened? I saw them in concert just a couple weeks ago. I love them though. And they were great. They I'm played sure. a lot of old stuff, but a lot of new see, stuff too. Their just new album just doesn't do it for me. Oh, see, I like. It. Okay, so who are you? Picking? I love them. Um, Who are you picking as golly, a comeback? a comeback. Who did make it? 
Backstreet Boys? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they had a new Christmas song come out this year. <laughs> were, were who they, else? Who was in those old Navy commercials? Was that new kids on the block? Jordan, I don't know. Jordan. I think Jordan was. Was it? I don't know. Backstreet I don't watch commercials because I, I have DVR. Backstreet Boys made a comeback on the on the old Navy commercial. Okay. <laughs> who are you picking? I, you know, I, I, I honestly I'm stumped on this one. Okay. I, I, I guess no doubt did have a really uh, big year. I just am not a fan of their new album. <sighs> Uh, Green Day. That's Green Day. That's true. Didn't they have three albums come out this year? Uno Green Dos Day, and Trace. Green Day. They uh, they won a crap load of Grammys earlier this year, right? mm -hmm. and uh, I love Green Day. But then Billy Joe. Well, we love him and we support him, and we'll be waiting for you out here, brother. Yes, we are. Yes. And I love the fact that the the music still came out, even though he's not here to help promote. Absolutely. It. You know, I. Uh, this is, it's a rough business, and if you already have demons of addiction that you're already battling with, you just have to be, uh, you know, that much more vigilant and that much more, you know, on guard. But I have high hopes for you, Billy Joe. I love you, brother. Stay strong. Me too. Okay, so thank you guys for watching our Breakout Artists of 2012. Tell us down in the comment section if you agree or disagree with us. Jamar, where can people find your music and where can they find you on Twitter or Facebook? Just, you know what? Just go to jamarrogers.com. It has it all there for you in one Easy. stop shop. Yeah. J Squidward. J Squidward, that's Twitter, yeah. You know At J Squidward. <laughs> I just love that name. That's why I remember it always. <laughs> that, that, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. You. Well, thanks guys for watching Clever Music. Don't forget to subscribe. Yay. Thanks for being with us, Jamar. Comment, comment. See you later. Bye.